Sound is the way going to Zone 3. Zone 3. Zone three. And this uh, this is Zone 3 too over here? Yes, Zone 3. Zone three then when you this pass is, main, there, mm -hmm. Zone 2. When we take this way, it's going to our, the main entrance of Zone 3. Zone 3. The, the way here, uh -huh. go the more Zone, zone three. 3. Okay. Well, this little boy is just following us all the way. <laughs> He's fascinated. He's all excited. Well, I guess besides you, besides myself, you're the only other foreigner that really comes down this deep. Probably so. Deep into the uh, heart of the community. I feel at home. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's very... Even Wayne, this is your first time also? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, take a my, walk. It's my first time. <laughs> Good exercise. I get to see my neighborhood. Know where you grow. Yes, doing the laundry. <laughs> Hello. Now some of these um, ladies make money too, Mike, uh, by Ma taking in laundry. Oh yes, oh yes. I they make a few they make a few pesos. Just like this one, they put signage for gown for rent. Gown. Oh, a wedding gown? No, I can go. Any type of gown for Any whatever time. for whatever occasion. Ah. Oh. Hi. <laughs> they call me so it's my elementary classmate. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're deep in the heart now. This is interesting. Thank you so much. I'm gonna stop this. Okay, this and the, is a barangay who? Barangay Kagawat Tami Biliran. Okay, and he's a he's a barangay councilman. Uh, yeah, one of the barangay councilmen. Okay, one of the barangay councilmen owns this little place. This is her barber shop. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. And how much is a haircut? I think it's thirty pesos. Thirty pesos. He's got his tools already. Okay. And I guess he lives Cheaper here? Cheaper than the one with uh, the air cooler. Uh oh, yeah, 100 pesos. Yes, he, lives, uh, he lives in there. Okay, so he lives back here and he's the barber. I make a lot of different clips and then I edit them all. Yeah. That takes hours. I know, I can imagine. Here in our um, uh, Philippines, we'll have another election. Oh, more elections. What editor do you use, man? Uh, Microsoft, and then I use uh, Movie Maker. Oh, okay. Windows Movie Maker, and I also use Handbrake. Yeah, I heard Handbrake is very good. Here, we're already in Zone 3. Zone 3? Okay. <laughs> it's pretty open down here. project of the city government. Wow, Iloilo yeah. City? Yes. Wow, this is good. Uh, cover gym. Before, it's just a small basketball court. Okay. <laughs> wow, right in the heart of Squatters Village here. Uh, it just started last January, I think. January, so it's yes. so three months. So they've uh, they had just an open court here, and they had kind of a, they had the basketball courts in the end. I'm gonna try to. And I'm gonna zoom in on that one. Okay, my batteries have run dead in my main camera, so I'm using a cell phone now. Well, we've got the workers out here, and these are the guys that are working hard to, to, to finish up this uh, uh, hall here. This is a pretty, pretty, pretty big structure. Um, they used to do their basketball on the basketball courts on the end, if you can see it. Let me try to zoom in. And this was all wide open, and the city of Iloilo came in and sponsored and paid for all of this iron and putting up a big, big barangay hall, a big covered area, so they can all get out here, get out of the rain, and have their fun. The days will go on where there's a lot of rain, they can't do anything here. And all this concrete, they're gonna, when they get through, they're gonna fill this in, and these guys are gonna mix all this by hand. 
Well, we're going to have to call this tour an end now because we're running out of batteries. But we, this will give you another idea of what it's like in the Brian guys there. Wayne, good to meet you. Thank you for the tour. Thank you for the tour. And maybe one of these days we'll come back and see all the other sections. Okay, thanks again. Okay, thank you for working. All right, I'm still in here in Molo Boulevard, or they call it the Boulevard. And this is their fish farm here. And they, they still have water in it, which is surprising because it's been a drought. But give you an idea of what it looks like here. And they have uh, milkfish and what other kind of fish? Tilapia. Tilapia. Okay, I'm not sure what it is. Probably a small fish. No, it, it, it also have small, but it also have a large. Large? Yes. But two different sizes? Yes, the different sizes. Okay, well, and here are the houses on each side. And then that house there, right behind where those two men are walking, is the Brian Guy Captain's house, John's house. We have here also the CCTV. The what? CCTV? CCTV yes. Where? Hi, good afternoon. Here. Hi. It's called in there. Hello. Hello. Here. Okay. Installed here. So but before this way, uh -huh. we made this by the uh, the link with people to as an area for exit area when we have uh, snatching. Yes. Okay. So we used that, this area before. Hello. That's why the barangay decided to put uh, CCTV cameras. Here. Okay. Yes. Well, that was and two lady boys that yes. walked by. And in that uh, area, we put uh, we also closed that the gate. And when it's 11 o'clock in the 11 and 9. No, no more. Uh, no. Okay. Because well, that's smart. That's, that's good. Well, they've done that little house up real nice with the glass windows. Wow. Yes. That little small house, yes. and they finished the concrete. That looks good. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is nice. I'm glad you were I was able to get in here. The three story house there. Yes. It's a boarding house. Boarding house. Is that that's not where John stays? No, he stays further down the beach. <laughs> now, do these this fish pond and this fish pond over here? Do they belong to different people? No, they belong only with uh, our barangay captain and his brother. So it's the, the family's business. The family's business. Yes. Okay, and I see water coming in down there. The is, culture different, and their father is they just give their shares when they have, when they got when up. They okay. Have. So the Brian guy captain, his brother and, and family own the fish farm in here. And I guess there's still fish in here? I don't know right now. Maybe, maybe not. Oh yes, when it's a, it's plenty of fish here. Okay. They also sell finger links. Did they call that finger Oh yeah, finger links, yes. baby fish. That's their business. Okay, I'm inside of the the, the, the main Brian guy hall. Uh, here at uh, Molo Boulevard, or what they call the Boulevard. And here is their main office here. And this is where all the business transactions happen for the city here and for, for, the, for the people. And the guys are all playing basketball here, of course. And this is, you can see in the sign up there on the top, it says Zone 5 Boulevard. Uh, and this is their small chapel. And then, what zone is this back here? That zone is zone 6. Zone 6, okay. And beside the chapel, they've got a water vending company where they make they have their own purified drinking water. And so when they need the water, they come up here and buy it. Now, some people that have the city water will actually, uh, or who can afford to have the city water in their house, um, they actually sell their water uh, to other people here make a little try to recoup their money on on buying the water from the city but this is you'll notice most of these areas here that have real tall roofs well the boulevard here is, is now getting their second one that i showed you a little while ago so they're going to have two of these centers which is good for the kids